Good morning, everyone. Today I have a story for you, a book about how and why insects grow and change. Do you remember what's this here? What is this? Hmm. Think about what is on the first page here. Now, a potato beetle has laid her yellow eggs on a leaf. Like the beetle, most insects hatch from eggs. Insects grow quickly and change greatly before they become adults. An insect grows and changes, but its skin does not. An insect's skin is a hard shell. As an insect like the grasshopper grows bigger, it must molt. Molting means it must lose its old skin. And it steps out in new, bigger skin. Now on here you can see the old skin of the grasshopper that he leaves behind. A praying mantis goes through three life stages. They begin, like most insects, like eggs. Young mantises, called nymphs, hatch and crawl from egg cases. They look a lot like adults, but they have no wings. The nymphs grow bigger, molting several times. Do you remember what molting means? It means they lose their skin several times. Finally, the insect sheds its skin for the last time. It steps out as an adult with wings. This set of changes from egg to nymph and to adult is called incomplete metamorphosis. Metamorphosis means change in form. Dragonflies lay their eggs in the water and the young hatch there. Dragonfly nymphs spend the first part of their lives in the water. A growing nymph may molt as many as 15 times. Now, when it's nearly grown, the nymph leaves the water by crawling up the stem of a plant. It molts again and spreads its new beautiful wings. As an adult, it will live above the water. The silk moth goes through four stages on its way to becoming an adult. This way of growing is called complete metamorphosis. What do we have here? We have eggs. So the moth begins life as an egg. A caterpillar or a larva hatches from the egg. The larva eats and grows, molting several times. Now, when the silk moth's larva is full grown, it wraps itself in a silky cocoon. Many of you know this word. Now the insect is ready for the next stage in its life. It becomes a pupa. Now the pupa rests inside the cocoon for two or three weeks. Its body changes. And when it finally breaks out of the cocoon, it's an adult silk moth. In a bumblebee nest, 
eggs rest inside wax cells. The larvae hatch inside the cells. They don't need to crawl around in search of food because other members of the bee colony collect pollen and nectar from flowers to feed them. They bring this food back to the nest for the larva. The larva eat and grow. Still inside their wax cells, they change into pupa. A bumblebee finally comes out of its cell as an adult. The bee is grey at first, but its colour soon changes to yellow and black. The bee flies off to a sunflower to gather pollen and nectar. It will bring food back to the nest so that more young bees can grow up. I hope you have enjoyed the book about how insects grow and change. Try to think of the words we used in the book, new words, and try to think of a life cycle of a butterfly. How many stages does a butterfly go, go, butterfly go through until it actually becomes a butterfly? Have a think about it and I will see you soon. Bye bye.